Okay, now we're going to discuss how to aggregate data in SPSS. This is useful when you have data that are defined at a more detailed level than you want. Uh, so for example, uh, maybe you have some data uh, that are uh, at the hourly level, uh, like our weather data, and we have mood data uh, that are collected several times a second. We may want to aggregate the mood data uh, to an hourly level so we can match them. Or in this, in this case, what we're going to use is our food sales data. Uh, so go into Icon, click on food sales, uh, and open up food sales cleaned November 15. Click on download and open that up. And here you'll see what our data set looks like. What we have is uh, by hour uh, and by date within each item description, uh, we know how much of each kind of food was purchased. Uh, but let's say we're not interested in each different kind of water that was purchased. In case, in, instead, we just want to know how much bottled water was purchased. And this is a problem because we have several rows of this as opposed to just one. So what we can do is simply aggregate that information. So let's go in and click on data uh, and click on sort cases. And we're going to sort based on the break variables we're going to use. Uh, in other words, at the level in which we want to aggregate our data. So we're definitely interested in date time but we also want to aggregate based on food category. We're going to keep these both in ascending order. Okay. Uh, then we'll click on OK, and now the data are sorted the way we want. Then what we want to do is go into data uh, and aggregate, and we'll use those break variables again, so we have our date, time, and food category. And again, this means we're going to get uh, information about how much of each kind of food category was purchased at each date and time. Now, maybe I'd still like to bring along what the date was. If I don't move them over to the summary variables or in the break variables, they won't exist. Uh, so maybe I want to keep track of the date. Uh, and I'd also like to keep track of the day of week for some reason. Right? So what we can do here is you'll see uh, date comes over. And we can look at the function. And we're going we're gonna to pick. Uh, do we want it to be first, last, minimum, or maximum? We can't do these summaries like mean and median uh, because this is a string variable and that doesn't make sense. In this case, we could choose any of these. It doesn't make it a difference. Uh, we'll get the same value. So we're going to uh, just leave it at first. We will change the, the name. Uh, I just want to call it uh, date. Okay. Uh, same idea here. Uh, we can just leave it on first, but I want to change the name so it, it makes more sense. Then what we're going to do uh, is we'd like to keep track of how many were purchased and how much money was spent on them. But here the mean doesn't make that much sense for us. Now it could. Uh, on a different analysis, maybe we want to know the average. But in this case, what we want is actually the sum. We want to know how much total was purchased. Uh, and actually, I think we'll just keep it on sum so we know what that was calculated as. Again, we'll click on sum here and then the variable name automatically switches to be sum as well. Now we can click on number of cases. This will tell us how many items uh, were summarized in each food category, which might be interesting, but we, we probably won't need that, but we might as well calculate it. And then you probably don't want to add these to the current data set. Uh, instead, you'll want to create a new data set or write to a new one. Uh, so click on write, and then you can fill in the name and, and save it somewhere. That's probably a good idea, so you can use it later. In this case, for our demonstration purposes, I'm just going to create uh, a data set called data set uh, 5555. Okay, and the file is already sorted on break variables, so we'll click on OK. Uh, and then that just ran. If I come down here, we can find that new data set. And what you're going to see is date time, the food category, the date and day, and the item quantity, item total. And again, this break tells us that baked foods, there was only one that was uh, summarized in there. But in the case of bottled water, there are five different waddles, uh, waters that summarized. Or down here for soda, there were 11 different rows of, of data that ended up uh, getting aggregated into just one. Uh, so that's what we have today for, for aggregating the data. Again, this is a useful way to summarize uh, your data set that's at too detailed a level, and you can get it to a smaller level.